Hello, Lola's. So I am not going to, I'm going to change this diaper, change his clothes. I usually try to get the table all fancy, get the change and get this covered up or something. I don't know, but I'm not doing all that today. Um, I just want to get him changed and I want to record. And um, I want to talk about something else that I feel like have really um, surprised me about myself with the Billy Sculpt. So you guys know this is my Ziggy and he is the Billy Sculpt by Kathy Romero Biscotti from Silicone Studio. Um, a lot of Billy's were sold a lot. <laughs> and if you guys know anything about me, you will know that I typically do not like to have babies a lot of times where like you're gonna see them everywhere. However, I haven't really seen them pop up like everywhere. I've seen, I've seen, you know, them on, you know, all platforms here and there. And surprisingly to myself, I'm actually not bothered by it. Um, I really not. I am just <laughs> trying to get him where you guys can like see his face, but. I am so smitten by, he's not fully rooted, you guys know that. Um, I'm so smitten by the actual sculpt. Or maybe it's just I'm biased because I painted it and I, you know, I fall in love when I paint. It becomes a little personal for me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I am not as bothered by it being a lot of this scope out there because I don't know for some reason I feel like they all kind of been taking on their different um appearance I feel like they all look different to a certain extent um I've really liked them in all different shades. I've seen redheads. I've seen one with painted hair even. Um, I've seen a little of everything. So I've seen them light. I've seen them dark. Um, and that's, you know, including they have, you know, the cuddles. But of course, of course, of course, Ziggy and the one Stucky and the prototype that I did are going to be, I'm going to be biased to those. Um, but I have seen some really nice ones done. Um, I think I like some babies to be rare. I like some babies to be, you know, just unique or sold out. I don't mind having a baby that others have. In fact, I like that I have some babies that are, you know, also in my friends' collections and stuff. Um, a lot of people want to think that, you know, like I, I think I've said this before. I don't know how to put this. Um, we, we are all going to be inspired by something, influenced by something. We watch TV. We watch, you know, we see people in the stores. We see clothes. We see hats. We see shoes. We see, you know, in the doll world, we see dolls. We see doll clothes, pampers. And... It makes us want to buy these things. That's why people have commercials and all these things. So I don't think that that, that is an unnatural process for us. But I am glad to know that at least I've grown to the point of which I am not, you know, 
so triggered or bothered that, you know, oh, it's possibly going to be a whole bunch of these babies out here. Because, like a lot of people have been saying for years, is that, yeah, that's going to be the case, but they're going to be all different. You know, some are going to be pretty close to each other. Some people are going to paint, you know, some people are going to try to paint as close as they can to, you know, other ones that they've seen that they like. Um, others are going to try to step it out the box. They're going to try to do something very unique, very different. So we're going to, we're going to see a lot of different styles. And it's pretty cool because it allows you to see the creativity of the artist, right? If I paint another baby for myself out of this sculpt, I will not paint it like the others that I painted because I like to try to do stuff different just to see how, how it's going to, to look. I'm like, is this gonna be really big on him? <laughs> Little, little, little tummy tummy. This little. Hmm. Well, it's not the um. Let me see. So like his little stomach, you'll see it push a little bit. Um. You see that? I mean that the. Silicone is just soft, um, it's, you know, flexible. I absolutely love, I love the Philips silicone. And I love, I love this baby armatures. This, this baby armatures is so amazing. It just really, I'm telling you, I have to, I don't tend to play with my baby's armatures as much, but I find that I move his armatures a lot more than I do with any other baby. I still haven't straightened this eyebrow, but it's okay. When I finish rooting them, sometimes I actually, I will pull out all their eyebrows and start all over again. So <laughs> I'm not really worried about his eyebrows at the moment. He just needed some because I didn't really feel, for whatever reason, I, I didn't feel as connected to him until he got eyebrows. <laughs> um, some babies don't need eyebrows for me. Um, I mean, I put them, but I'm just saying that for me to be like, excited about them. Oh, hold on. But I do want, I, I, I don't know, I just can't fight the urge to want to paint this this kit again. Um, I just feel like I need to paint it one more time. So, I was actually going to possibly paint it um, one time as a private order, but I don't think that's going to happen now. Um... Plus, I don't want to, I just decided it's just not, it's just best that I just stay away from private orders. I say that all the time. But I am going to probably end up painting another one of these babies. Um, but I'm going to probably have it, I probably do it differently. Um, I said I wanted to keep the girl prototype the only girl that I paint unless I paint one for myself that I know that for a fact I am not going to let go that would be the only that would be the only way 
that's what I had said. So, let me see. This, do I do it right? Okay. So, you, it depends on how you put his hand up. He can, you know, suck his thumb. I just love that I don't have to do much and I can easily, like, pose him with his armatures, like, I just, you know, and I love that, you know, he goes, it goes out and it goes in and it goes up and, you know, sometimes I put him towards his face and so on and so forth. Um, so, I don't know. I just really enjoy having him in my collection. I'm so glad that I decided to get one for myself. Like, as soon as, you know, I put my word in, like, like I was like, I want, I want one for myself. As soon as I, you know, had decided to do the, I mean, not decided, but as soon as I was doing the prototype, but I had to do the prototype first. And I probably would have kept both of them, actually. I really would have. Um, but I like this baby as a girl. A lot of people like him as a boy. I like this baby as a girl, and that's surprising. Um, I really liked the prototype as a girl. And I also love the way how easy his head turns to the side. It's pretty nice. So anyway, if you're expecting this off or you already got it, I'm glad you got one. <laughs> and hopefully you enjoy yours as much as I enjoy mine. Um, I'm glad that, you know, I'm growing up a little bit here <laughs> where I'm not throwing a tantrum because it's like, oh my God, there's so many out there. Um, I'm excited, actually. I'm excited and I'm excited for Silicon Studio because they deserve it. They, 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 you know, they provide like A1 customer service. Um, I've paid tons of money, bought tons of dolls, and sometimes you can spend so much money, you know, with someone and get the worst service ever and, you know, feel like every question is a bother and, um, you know, it just kind of ruins the experience. Um, so when you get good customer service, it's just really nice. Um, and you you create um, a loyal customer that will come back time and time again. You know what I mean? So I, from my experiences, I try to learn from my experiences as a buyer and grow as a seller, if that makes sense. So things that I might have done in the past and then it, when it's done to me, I don't like the way it feel or I like the way that looks. I'm like, oh yeah, not doing that to my customers ever again or I'm not going to, you know, or I love the way that they make me feel with good customer service. So I, I hope to provide that level of customer service to my customers because it makes it feel worth the money spent because we spend a lot of money for these babies. We really do. But anyway, that is it. I'm going to catch up with you guys later and we'll talk. Bye-bye.